Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. Now this blanket, I've put a large border on this. The border is a UK treble crochet. That's double crochets if you're in the USA. So the pattern repeat for this, you can make it up as you go along. Now I did one row of treble crochet, that's double crochet in the USA. Then I put my pattern in. Then I did one more row. The box row here is you'll do a stitch, chain one and skip a stitch. Do a stitch, chain one and skip a stitch. Now what you can do is you can do a couple of rows of these boxes and then do this and then do a couple of rows here and then do that pattern again. I'll show you how to do the box ones. It's really easy to do these ones here. So this pattern row is six rows in here. I've got one row of UK double crochets. That's USA single crochets. Then I've got the pattern. Then I've got one more row in here of the either double or single crochet, whatever country you're in. Then I started working a full row, then one stitch, chain one, skip one, one stitch, chain one, skip one to make these and then I did this row. I'll show you how to do this section and then what you can do is you can transform this as much as you want. You can either do it all this pattern or you can put these box ones in between. This one is a, a make your own, it's a make your own blanket. So you can do this pattern to whatever way you want it. So I'm going to show you how to do the two sets and then you do as much as you want. So the yarn I used for this was the Cutie Pie Banoffee. This one was called Banoffee. For my sample, I'm going to do the Cutie Pie and this is an Bilberry. This is a Bilberry. Now this one was Banoffee and I love all those coffee colours. Even though it says Banoffee, Banoffee is like banana and toffee mixed together. I don't see any yellow banana. <laughs> Maybe this creamy colour represents sort of like the banana as colours. But I think this is a beautiful coffee colour. I love this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The stitch count for it is four. Any number sets of four and then add three stitches at the end. So the stitch count for this is sets of four. Then add an extra three stitches. So you'll do your chain as long as you need it to be. And do it in sets of four. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So I've done a small sample and sets of four. I'm going to add an extra three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're going to go into the fourth stitch from the chain. Don't count in the loop that's already on your hook. Count one, two, three and four. And we're going to do UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. It's the same stitch. We in the UK just call it something different. So into the fourth stitch, you're going to do a UK treble crochet. That's a double if you're in the USA. You're going to put one into each stitch along. So one into each stitch. That's a yarn over if you're a beginner. Through the stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, come through two loops, yarn over and come through two loops. And work your way along to the end. So I've got one more stitch to do. Now we're going to chain one and turn. What you're going to do as well 
you can move this pattern around any way you want like I did with mine so you can do it all this lace pattern and the boxes or you can do so many sets of either treble or double crochets in between the sections it's up to you so right into the very first stitch we're going to do a UK double crochet now this is a single crochet if you're in the USA it's the same stitch so one into each stitch all the way along so I've done my row of double crochet a single crochet if you're in the USA now I'm going to chain three one two three and turn so the stitch we're going to use is a, tre a UK treble crochet that's a double crochet if you're in the USA now I've got my my loop on my hook so yarn over and we're going to go into the next stitch and do one stitch one treble crochet that's a double crochet if you're in the USA now we're going to chain five one two three four five chain five skip one stitch now the next three stitches we're going to keep them on the hook we're going to do what's called three trebles together if you're in the USA this is three double crochets together so skip one stitch put your yarn over skip that stitch and do your treble or double crochet whatever country you're in and keep it on the hook keep that first one on the hook go into your next one and do your stitch and keep it on the hook that's two yarn over pull through two of your loops so we've done three stitches and we've got them on the hook so we've got our original loop and our three stitches so yarn over and pull through them all and you're going to chain five one two three four and five and you're going to repeat that all the way along skip one skip one and work one keep that stitch on the hook so yarn over into the next stitch pull through yarn over and pull through two loops keep that stitch on the hook yarn over into your third one so you've got four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through them all and you'll lock those three stitches together chain five one two three four and five and you'll do that again you'll do it all the way along so skip one and we're going to work three stitches so one into that stitch keep it on the hook one into the next one keep it on the hook yarn over pull your yarn through yarn over and through two loops keep that one on the hook so we'll work three we've got four loops and pull through them all and chain five one two three four and five and work along skip one work three one one into the next one keep it on the hook and one into the next one so we've got our four loops on the hook pull through them all and chain five one two three four five so skip one i'm at the end i'm going to work three one two and three pull through and i'm going to chain five one two three four and five now it might look as if you don't have three stitches left but i do i've got a stitch a stitch and i've got this chain so we're going to skip this one and we're going to put one in to that second last one keep that one on the hook and then put one into the top of that little chain one into the top of that chain and pull through 
scroll through two loops. So we've got two left at the end. Yarn over and pull through those stitches. Now we're going to chain five. The five that we're going to chain is going to count one, two, three. That's your stitch. And two more. One, two. And turn. So that is going to represent one UK treble crochet and two stitches. Or that's one double crochet and two stitches if you're in the USA. So what we're going to do now is in to the middle of these five stitches here. These five stitches. You're going to do a UK double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA. So skip two stitches in the chain and go into the middle of your chain through the stitch. Pull through and do your either double or single crochet. And that little chain will make a treble crochet here and two chain. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the cluster. And skip the first two stitches in the chain and go in to the middle and do a double crochet. We're going to build these little bridges all the way along. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and go in to the middle of the chain and do either a double or a single crochet, whatever country you're in. All the way along, chain one, two, three, four, five, and along, one, two, three, four, five, and along, and this is what you're going to be making. So from that double crochet row here, or single crochet, if you're in the USA, that is row one of this pattern. This one is row two, and this chain row is row three. So we're going to chain one, two, three, four, and five, and in to the middle of the chain with your double crochet. So at the end, we're going to chain two, one and two, only two, because remember here, we chained five, and that three stitches represents your stitch, and two chain. So at this end it's two chain. So into the end of here you're going to do a treble crochet. That's a double crochet if you're in the USA. We're going to chain three. One, two, three and turn. Now we're going to do this pattern but in reverse. So into that same stitch you're going to put one treble crochet, so into the same stitch as that chain of three. You're going to chain one. Now into the middle stitch of the chain of five, we're going to put three treble crochets. And that's double crochets if you're in the USA. So skip two stitches in this chain and in to the middle stitch you're going to put three treble crochets full treble crochets so that's one two and three chain one and move over to the next chain and do the same in the middle stitch you're going to put three treble crochets that's three double crochets if you're in the USA. So you can work along with me. Grab a hook, grab your yarn and put the video back to the beginning and you can work along. Pause the video if I go a little bit too fast for you and then start the video again. So you've got one. We're going to put another one, that's two. And another one, that's three. And that's going to make that cluster a mirror image of that one there. Chain one, remember the chain one. Into the middle of a stitch 
and put three treble crochets. One, two, and three. That's a double crochet if you're in the USA. Chain one, go to the middle of that chain of five, and do three stitches. One, two, and three. Chain one and move over into the middle of the next one. Now I've just noticed that I've done a bit of a mistake in this. I didn't put in my box section as we have on this, this one here. I've got this little box section. Then I did the pattern, but it doesn't matter. You can do this pattern any way you want around. I'll show you how to do that box section in a moment. Now, I have, <laughs> I have forgotten to put it in here, but it doesn't matter. You can start the blanket like this. So I'm going to chain one and work my way along. I'm not going to rip all this out. I'll show you how to do that box section so one we need three in here to do this little fan and three chain one move to our, net, our last section here one two and three chain one we're going over, we're going to count one, two, three stitches. Do you remember this was the chain of five? So count one, two, and three. And you're going to put two treble crochets into here. That's double crochets if you're in the USA. So that's one and into the same stitch. Do one more. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do that double crochet row again. That's that little row there. That single crochet is if you're in the USA. So right into the first stitch, we're going to do UK double crochets. One into each stitch and one into the chain through that chain stitch. Don't go in the space, go through the chain. So one into each of the stitches along here. And one into that chain. Remember that chain one and put a stitch in. Now these are double crochets if you're in the UK and they're single crochets if you're in the USA. It's the same stitch, we just call it something different. Make sure you go through that chain stitch. Go through the middle of the stitch. One into each stitch, all along. So I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to put one into that chain one stitch. Make sure you go through the middle of the stitch. And I've got the two stitches here on the end. One into there and one through the top of that last stitch. And this is a pattern that we've got. It's really pretty. And I'm going to do one row of treble crochets. That's UK treble crochets. So chain one, two and three and turn. We're going to put one in to each stitch along. One into each stitch. These are double crochets if you're in the USA. So I'm at the end and I've got my one stitch left. I'm going to show you how to do the fillet boxes. The one I should have did, <laughs> I should have did that down here. But it doesn't matter. You can see that you can mix this up if you want. To do the box one that I did in between, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. 
I'm going to do one more. So that's my stitch. I'm going to do one more for my chain one. So you're doing four. So three is a stitch and that extra one is my chain one. I'm going to skip this stitch and do a UK treble crochet in the next stitch. That's a double crochet if you're in the USA. And we've got one little box made. Chain one, skip one and do a treble or double crochet. Whatever country you're in. Chain one, skip one and do either a treble or a double crochet. Chain one and in to the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, remember and skip one there. And that's going to make this a box section. So remember your chain one, skip one and work along. And it's really easy to put this box section in. So at the end, we're going to skip one, do a stitch, chain one. Now I've got two here. Skip the stitch and into the top of that chain of three. You do your treble or double crochet, whatever country you're in. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three and turn. And we're going to put one treble crochet into each stitch. One into the space, one into the stitch. One into the space, one into the stitch this time. So you can go into the space this time. And one into the stitch. One into the chain space. And one into the stitch. All the way along. So into the space here. I've done my, my stitch here. I'm going into the space. Keep my stitch count correct. Shh. Then one in to the top of that chain of three. Make sure you go in the stitch. Stops it from moving around. And that's how you do that box one. It's a row of UK trebles, one stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, and then another. You can see how I did that. Then you'll top it with a treble crochet row. And these are double crochets if you're in the USA. If you want to do the whole thing, rewind the video back to row two and continue on. You can mix this up and match it up. You can... Do two of those and then do so many of this one. If you're doing a blanket, you can even use this eyelet and put some ribbon through it if you want. So I'll show you this again. I'll show you my big blanket again. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Excuse the mess. I'm having to work downstairs because Mutley's back legs have gone a little bit again. So he's got to get a lot of rest. So this is what I've done. Now you can see here I did do the box one on the bottom of this one. I did the lace. Then I did two, one, two, three sets of the box. Then I did the lace. Then I just went... Up and I done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of the box. I did one, two, three, four, five rows just of UK trebles. That's USA doubles. Then I did seven of the box again. And then I just repeated the bottom of the blanket by doing sets of the pattern. But it's up to you with this one. This is a little up to you blanket. You can do it whatever way you want. You can do it all boxes if you want. Uh, or you can do it all this lace pattern. Now the border. All I did with the border is rounds of UK treble crochet. That's double crochets if you're in the USA. I picked up stitches up the edge. I put two stitches in 
to each of the pattern. So to do the border into each of these spaces I put two stitches, I put one in here, two into here and then just pick up, do it evenly up the side, whatever you pick up down this side, make sure you pick the same up down the other side. So if you're doing a blanket and you pick up 84 stitches, make sure you pick up 84 stitches on the other side. The top and the bottom is easy because you've got your chain here and at the top you've got the row that you finished on. I finished on this box row. I did the boxes and one row of treble crochets and then I started my pattern for the border. For the border I've done one, two, three, four, five. I did five rounds on the border. At the corners, as normal, two stitches, two chain and two stitches to make the corners. And that's what I did to create the border on this. You'll just pick up stitches evenly. You can see that I've put two in the chain spaces. One in the middle and two in the chain spaces all the way up. Just remember that what you pick up, count them and make sure you do it down the other side. So give it a try and see what you can come up with with yours. Just rewind the video and do that pattern section. Or you can rewind the video and do the box section. It's up to you. As long as your stitch count is sets of four with an extra three stitches at the end on your chain, do an extra three stitches once you've done the length that you want. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please click on that bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial and it's completely free to subscribe to the channel. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.